an annual event marked each October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month helps draw attention to one of the most pervasive diseases faced by American women today. In this brief Q&A, women's health expert and pharmacist Marla Ailgrim shares her knowledge and experience about this disease while offering hope and encouragement for those dealing with its ramifications. Q, thank you, Marla Ailgrim, for joining us tonight. Marla Ailgrim, it's my pleasure. Q, how do women typically find out they have breast cancer? Marla Ailgrim, the most obvious sign of breast cancer is thickening or lump in the underarm or near the breast. Regular checkups with a primary care physician are recommended so that all aspects of a woman's health can be examined. Q, in addition to a lump or abnormality in the breast, what are some of the other warning signs of breast cancer? Marla Ailgrim, look for a clear fluid or bloodstain secretion from the nipple or a change in the appearance or feel of the skin. Redness of the skin on the nipple or breast is not uncommon as well. Q, what could these skin changes entail? Marla Ailgrim, the skin may appear inflamed, scaly, puckered or dimpled. Q, in these situations, what should a woman do? Marla Ailgrim, it's best to contact a healthcare provider as soon as possible who can discuss all of the limitations and benefits of breast self-exams. Q, how might this breast cancer progress? Marla Ailgrim, breast cancer cells have the potential to spread to the brain, bones, lungs and liver. Q, is breast cancer a quite common health issue among American women? Marla Ailgrim, unfortunately, yes. In fact, besides skin cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer for American women. Q, how is this issue being addressed? Marla Ailgrim, as a result of treatment improvements and early detection, millions upon millions of women are surviving and even thriving after being diagnosed with breast cancer. Q, what organizations might be able to provide more resources on this subject? Marla Ailgrim, the American Cancer Society has been sharing information on breast cancer that encourages women to get tested and learn about all of their treatment options. Q, how specifically has the American Cancer Society improved the lives of breast cancer patients? Marla Ailgrim, the organization funds research studies and projects designed to find, prevent and treat breast cancer. Q, how does a physician help when his or her patient is dealing with a diagnosis? Marla Ailgrim, a woman's doctor should be quite adept at helping patients understand their treatment options and teaching them how to cope with all of the emotional and physical side effects. Q, how can a woman reduce her risk of cancer? Marla Ailgrim, avoiding alcohol and tobacco products, exercising, and maintaining a healthy weight are all advisable. Q, what should her ideal diet contain? Marla Ailgrim, most doctors recommend a focus on fresh fruits and vegetables as well as whole grains. Q, what barriers prevent women from following this plan? Marla Ailgrim, Although most anyone has the capability of making smart choices, they may be affected by the regulatory, economic, physical or social environment in which they live. Healthy decisions start with physical activity and diet. Q. We're grateful for your insightful remarks. Marla Ailgrim, it's important to gain greater understanding so that we can all fight against this disease. Q, thank you again for your input. Marla Ailgrim, I certainly hope it helps. Marla Ailgrim is an experienced and dedicated pharmacist who has focused on women's health issues since her career began in the early 1970s.